Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the normal force, the shear force, and the bending moment at point C. For this, we also have to find out the support reaction at point A and point B. So let's start with the support reaction first. So this is A support here, it's a rural support here. So it can take only the vertical reaction represented by R. A, A, and here at point B, we have the rotor support, we have the hinge support, so it can take both the vertical reaction RB and also the horizontal reaction RBX. But hence, there is no horizontal load acting on this beam, so this will be zero directly, as there is no horizontal load acting on this beam. Now, Starting from here, this is point C where we, have to, where we have to find out the normal force, the shear force and the moment. So starting with the support reactions, so let's suppose the summation of moment at point A equal to 0. And let's suppose the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. So the force that creates the moment about point A is the distributed load which is 4 kN per meter and distributed over the length of 5 meter. So in this force, the this force will act at the center if we convert to pointed load and this will create the moment in the anti-clockwise direction about point A. So it will be taken as negative. So minus 4 multiplied by the 4 is the magnitude 4 kN per meter. Multiply it with the distributed length which is 5 meter multiplying it with the moment arm because moment is equal to the force into moment arm. Force is just 4 kN per meter multiplying it with the 5 meter. This is the force and the moment arm is the distance from the point where the force is acting to the point where you want to find out the moment. So here in this case it, it will be this distance the 5 divided by 2 it means this will be 2.5 meter. So this is 2.5 meter in our case which is the moment arm. Now this is the first load that creates a moment about point A. The second load that creates a moment about point A is this RP and this creates a moment in the anti-clockwise direction about point A. So it will be also, it is a creating anti-clockwise moment, so it will be also taken as negative. So it will be minus RB multiplying it with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance perpendicular distance from this B point up to A which is 3 meter and 3 meters, so total is 6 meter. So summation of all the moments about point A equal to 0. So now if we solve this simple equation, so it will be RB, 6 RB will be equal to the minus 50. Again RB, if we divide this 50 by 6, we got here RB equal to the minus 8.5. 3, 3 kN. Now here we got the minus sign. Minus 8.33. It means that we have to change our sign assumption. The RB we assume that it is acting upward. So we have to change this sign. And here this sign should be changed. And now it is negative. So it will be acting in downward direction. RB equal to the 8.33 kN. This when we get always negative sign in our support reaction, it means that our assumed reaction was wrong. So we have to change the sign. So here our force is now acting downward. So now to find out the RA, we have to take the summation of vertical force is equal to zero. And upward force should be taken as positive, and the downward force should be taken as negative. Now, what are the upward forces? Upward forces are only Ra. So, Ra is positive. The other downward forces are 4 kN. This one is acting in downward direction. So, it will be minus 4 multiplying it with the 5 because it is distributed over the length of 5. And also, this is force Rb which is also acting in downward direction. So, it will be minus Rb equal to 0. So, this is the, all the forces equal to 0. Now we know that Rb is equal to 8.33 kN. So if we shift this values into the right side, so it will be got Ra equal to the Rb plus 20. 
So if we put the value of Rb, we know that it is 8.33. So 8.33 plus 20, we got here 28.33 kN. So this is the value of Ra, which is with positive sign, it means that Ra sign assumption was correct. 28.33 kN. So this is the value of Ra. Now to find out the normal force, shear force and the moment at point C. So what we have to do, we have to take only this portion of the beam because it is the most simplified portion. So if I change the color, so it will be more easy to understand now. If I take this one, so this is C point here, C point is here and this is the support frictions here. So RBX is here acting which is equal to zero and here is RBY or we can simply write RB equal to 8.33 kN which is vertical force. Now we have to find out the shear force here RC or we can say VC and also the moment here MC and also the normal force here we can say VCX. So now in this case VCX is directly equal to zero because the horizontal force acting here on this portion of the beam is equal to zero. So Vcx is directly equal to zero. Now to find out Vc, so summation of vertical force is equal to zero again. So now the upward force will be taken as positive and the downward force will be taken as negative. So upward force is Vc. If you look to this point Vc, so Vc is acting in upward direction, so it will be positive minus Rb is acting downward, so it is acting in the downward direction which is minus 8.33 so summation of all the vertical forces is equal to 0 and if we simplify this we get Vc equal to 8.33 kN so this is the value of the shear force at this point C which is in the same magnitude as the Rb now to find out the Mc so let's suppose summation of moment at point C equal to 0 and the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anticlockwise Sorry, the anticlockwise moment is taken as positive and the clockwise moment is taken as negative in this case. So the anticlockwise moment, which is this one, MC, which is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it is taken as positive here. So it will be directly MC and this force will create vertical force, will create the moment about point C in the clockwise direction. So it will be negative minus RB multiplying it with the moment arm. The moment of our arm is distance from B up to point C, which is 3 meter. Summation of moment at point C equal to 0. So MC we got 3 multiplied with the RB, or we can say 3 multiplied with the 8.33. So we got here 24.9 kN. Meter. So this is the value of the MC here. Acting at this point, MC is equal to the 24.9 kN meter. So hope you guys understand how to find out the normal force, shear force and the moment value at any point if you follow these conditions and these rules which I did here. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.